All right, folks, please ignore the crazy mess <laughs> for right now. So we have gotten to the point here where I ran a couple of the wires because I wanted to see sort of what wire runs would feel like with some of the wires in there. We also tested out different ways of um, temporarily attaching wires from little zip ties uh, to these little twisty things. Um, and honestly, it's actually come down to cheap twisty ties, right? Like I bought a bag of cheap twisty ties and I think that that's going to be our temporary attachment. So now that we've sort of figured out some of the wire runs, uh, we have shifted to using ribbon um, to mark off the lengths for each of the different spots. You'll see this ribbon going to different places and we figured out the routing for everything. So every connector has either a piece of ribbon on it or already has a little wire on it. And, uh, and I'm hoping that I am accurate enough at this point that I can take off the ribbon and the existing wires um, and put it on a board so that we can do the wire runs all at once, right? If I do it in here, it definitely works. Um, it will definitely be fine, but it does feel a little bit like it would be, to me, maybe a little messier. It might be easier to keep it clean and organized and like combed out if I do it on, um, a lot of people call them pegboards. Uh, basically, it's a piece of plywood that, uh, you know, I'm gonna hammer some nails into that, that are gonna be the, the set lengths. You've seen pictures of this already online. Uh, Vans Air Force has a great, um, uh, thread on uh, someone who did this um, already uh, so take a peek at that uh, but we'll have a couple more videos on uh, how this progresses